So now that I have my 4.5 liter billy pot, uh, I I think uh, it's a good time to show you my my overlanding cooking setup that I've arrived at. I'd never take this uh, backpacking, but it's absolutely perfect for my truck. So what we've got here is, of course, the the windscreen uh, bottom windscreen pot and support the top windscreen. Uh, then. You've got your two cooking pots Let's go in here. I always put in this uh, homemade aluminum simmer ring, which is what I use when I need to simmer in my pots to avoid a hot spot. So I've got my, uh, uh, I guess it's 0.8 or 0.9 liter kettle. I always keep the burner in the kettle and, um, and one of the pot grabbers. So I've got actually in my cooking set, I've got a couple of other pot grabbers, but since it's pretty important for this particular set, I always keep an extra in there. So I keep the burner in there. Usually I put a lighter in there as well. Uh, at that point, I'm gonna flip these down and it's important to have these things actually uh, not underneath one of these pot supports because it does cause them to stick up a little higher than they need to go. Then I put my uh, my stand on and the lid. Now this lid fits on both of the pots on the inside, which is kind of nice. And then finally, I've got my an, a non-stick. The rest of them, the two pots are hard anodized um, uh, because sticking is not such an issue since it's usually liquid in there. Uh, but then uh, for the for the skillet, I prefer to use uh, non-stick. So you got your little piece of plastic in there. And then the whole thing is going to fit inside uh, the billy pot. And I actually don't feel the need uh, for the strap. If I ever wanted to use a strap on this, I, I have the strap holding the whole thing together. Um, it, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet if I want to use that setup permanently. But let me show you the rest of what I do. So if I put the lid on, it looks like I'm done, doesn't it? But I'm not. So next thing I've got is my Trangia uh, skillet here. And um, thanks to the advice of my good friend, Tanu Larson, uh, I take the, the cutting board and strainer and put it there to protect it. Now, as I discovered in an earlier video, you can put it on top, but that causes the whole thing to be kind of tall. Turns out it actually fits perfectly as a bottom. Total flush fit. Uh, barely adds anything to the height. In fact, I would say the majority of the height that it adds is actually just the uh, the handle. And you can, of course, remove that if you want and store it somewhere else. I probably actually will end up removing it and just storing it uh, in my cook kit. So, uh, and after that, um, basically, uh, you turn your lid um, so that you can still get the, the bale up like this. And then I'm going to put um, the strap, whoops, dropped it. Put the strap through the handle of the skillet. Rotate the fry pan. Bring this up under the bale like this. Slide that little puppy through. By the way, um, this isn't a Trangia strap, of course. Uh, this is a strap uh, from Rock Straps, uh, but I, I really like it. I just didn't have one long enough. And th this has a, a bungee on it that sort of always holds it uh, nice and firm. So um, I'm, I'll use it for the time being, uh, and we'll see if I uh, ever end up with the the, the strap that's necessary for this, which is, is apparently an 80 centimeter strap. So what I've got basically is the whole set. 
Um, I can even uh, pick the set up by its bail and it, uh, it's totally secure. And, and that's the way I think for the time being, I'll go on a few trips with it stored like this in my truck. Uh, but the beauty of a set like this is, of course, I've got two fry pans, two pots, uh, and a kettle, as well as the large billy pot. So in terms of uh, total uh, capability, this thing is the bomb. And of course, it all fits together very small. Everything else that I have, like um, uh, here's the thing that I use to, uh, this is a um, magnetic um, canning jar lid remover um and i use this for the simmer ring um all stuff like this plus any other cooking utensils those all go in a small little um plastic uh bin that i have that i keep my uh, my cooking supplies in so at any rate uh this thing is ready to go um this plus the addition of my uh my utensils and the gas burner I think will meet pretty much all of my camping needs for the foreseeable future. And if I can foresee anything else, I know I can, I'll have the room to bring it because this is very compact. Thanks. Hope this has been helpful to you.